for everyone who cries like it's an Olympic sport, this is the one for you. I just added the blue lenses because I decided they would fit the aesthetic. One thing that's really important also is a lot of blush. I mean, go crazy with the blush. Blush everywhere. I used liquid blush and then also powder blush. Just make sure it looks natural and not like you have a raging rash. And we need, we need tears. We need to look like we cried. I think will really work some glitter or some glitter eyeshadow and I also smeared it on my eyelids and my nose because we're going for a wet look. For the eyes you just want to frame them and make them look expressive. For the lips just something pinky, you know the crying vibes. I wanted the skin to look dewy so I used some setting spray and I finished everything off with a lot of gloss, gloss everywhere. If you're lazy and want to skip all these steps just, just get cheated on you know. We always talk about these crazy contouring techniques, but I want to talk about my everyday contouring technique. On a daily basis, I don't really do anything too crazy. I only contour my features, like my nose and make my eyes a little bit longer, and of course, my cheeks and chin. If I feel like being extra, I also contour around my lips. Of course, some lip and cheek blush and lip color. No crazy idea, sometimes it's good to add it on your eyelids. Most of the time I blend it with a sponge, but if I'm feeling fancy, I use a brush. With this, I use the Milk Kush Mascara. And that's how I look more fresh and less like a defrosted pancake in the morning. Hope you like it! vampire skin is it just me or is that the coolest thing i've ever heard 13 year old me would scream you don't understand i legit thought i was a vampire back then until you never know so for this we need a foundation and we need some um glitters i'm personally using a sparkly liquid eyeshadow now i'm not sure what the right amount of foundation is for this and we take some of this and then we just mix everything together if i'm not shining like the sun i will be very disappointed okay now i'm gonna blend it in this shade has got me looking very vampire-esque it is looking pretty shiny but i'm gonna finish everything and look at it with a flash oh my god look at this this is so cool i'm sorry but edward cullen who just watch me do this absolutely every freaking day try this right now so you guys want me to do a makeup tutorial using the new chris collection by kylie cosmetics mm, okay and that is just what i'm about to do today but since i got a lot of martini making equipment in this pr we are making it a drunk get ready with me martini is ready so let's go I like it. I don't know how much of this I need to drink for this to be a drunk and ready with me. Judging by how strong this is, about 10 minutes. I think we're ready. This is what the collection look- <laughs> This is what the collection looks like. I think, I think, I think I should start off with the base. I'm just gonna quickly do my foundation. Did you ever think about how weird foundation is? Just a random thing we put on our face. Okay, tipsy thoughts are starting. Okay, we are gonna need a contour, a contour. I mean, I may be tipsy, but like, I think I'm slaying this. We are going to need some blush because I'm whiter than that wall in the background. Why do I start speaking in accents every time I get tipsy? I am sorry to my British, British people. I just can't stop. Okay, the bake. I just wonder who randomly decided we're gonna call this baking. Like, how do we come to these agreements? Okay, the first thing we're trying is the blush and highlighter duo. This, this is the thing. Okay, let's see the blush. Oh, the blush is blushing. I gotta say, this is really nice. Okay, the highlight. Ooh, I am loving. I'm gonna drink another martini and for the eyes and the lips go to part two. Okay, this is by far the easiest everyday makeup ever. When you want to be out of the house in five minutes, but you still want to, you know, look cute. I started off with the Ultimate Glow Shots Liquid Eyeshadow. The Ultimate Glow Shots have a vegan formula, and they give you a brightening liquid eye color in one shot with vitamin C. With the Ultimate Glow Shots, there is no transfer, no fallout, and up to 12 hours of wear. But you better believe I'm not leaving the house without a liner. This one, let me tell you, this is a two-in-one eyeliner and eyelash adhesive. Then I just popped on the jumbo lashes. It's so quick and painless. Vegan formula, no glue and no magnets. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it. And I did this in five minutes. Quick, easy and painless. Vicks Professional Makeup absolutely came through with these products.
So I get this question all the time like people ask me what happened to my face how my face is so different and I'm gonna tell you what's up so this is my face before you can see that my jaw looks really big and also this picture that I used in the video and this is my face now as you can see it's a lot slimmer here a lot of people could think yeah that's weight loss but it's not all weight loss and I did not get surgery people always ask me if I got surgery. I did not get surgery never heard of this before I got it done but I got masseter Botox so you get it injected here and your masseter muscle this one right here it relaxes and your whole jaw looks more a lot of people get their buckle fat removed but I did not do that you can do that of course if you want to but that's a whole surgery and you have the recovery and blah blah, blah. this is like five minutes and you're done inject it and you just like it also helps with headaches and if you do this like, with your teeth. So yeah, that is the magical thing and now you know. Hair transformation time. So I wanted to go blonde for a long time now and I finally decided to go for it. Going blonde from ginger is not an easy job so we had a lot of bleaching to do. Bleach. Bleach. This was my hair after the first bleaching. I wanted it to look more natural, so we decided to do the roots a bit darker. Dye? Dye? It looks dramatic, but let's trust the process. And that I'm blonde. Next step were the extensions. We did a mix of a few shades so they blend in better. Officially a blondie. Gonna go do my makeup can't wait to show you the end results. Today we are trying the new Future Fluid All Over Cream Concealer by Milk Makeup. I personally use concealer for a lot of things on my face, not just for certain spots and not just to highlight. Now, this concealer comes in 30 shades. I'm gonna apply it in multiple spots in my face and let's see how it looks. These are the shades I got and uh, I think all three would work for me. I'm also gonna show you how I use concealer to kind of lift my face. Something that's also great about this concealer is that it treats all your skin concerns. It is infused with hyaluronic acid which helps hydrate your skin caffeine aloe vera and a lot of other ingredients that make your skin look flawless this is kind of what i do and then i let it dry for a little bit i'm also gonna do the nose after it dries i'm gonna blend it in even after it's dried it's like a seamless blend look at this Finishing it off with my favorite milk blush. And this is the look we have in the end. These concealers are amazing, creamy, and natural looking. Smokey, I get ready with me using the new Natasha Denona My Dream Collection. I wanted to create a smoky cat eye look with the shade names that inspire me the most. I used the shades Aspiration, Spontaneous, and Risk. The shade Risk is special to me because I think taking risks in life makes me feel alive and helps me get inspired to do more and try harder. Also, this shade has maroon tones and everything with a red vibe symbolizes passion. A nude lip is my go-to and makes every look feel complete. I was obsessed with the finished look and will be using this palette a lot. I get this question all the time, so today I decided to test this out. My goal is gonna be like 20 seconds to go but let's see how this goes today i'm going to be using my favorite saturday skin products the fastest makeup removal i'm going to be using the makeup melting balm and after that i'm going to clean my face with the antioxidant gel cleanser so let's start cleaning my face my stopwatch is ready okay in three two one let's go okay i feel like this is a good time to stop Clean almost everything off in like 17 seconds. Let's see how much we cleaned. There is almost nothing left. I would say the melting makeup balm is killing it. It's time for the gel cleanser. And I am all done. I tried a lot of cleansers and a lot of balms, but I'm absolutely obsessed with Saturday skin the fastest removal ever and please do tell me how long does it take you to take off your makeup? hair transformation i didn't feel confident lately so i thought changing my hair might fix it it's cheaper than therapy don't judge me i haven't had my hair bleached in months because i was trying to get it healthy but honestly life is too short to have boring hair so i decided to dye it black time to kill any life left in my hair just kidding, I'm gonna stay a blandy. Bleach. Bleach.
We did highlights and I actually decided to go blonder and officially enter my Cassie era. After cremating my hair follicles, they toned it with purple shampoo and, and did some hair care. My ends couldn't be saved despite all the resurrection techniques, so we cut a few inches off. Rip little dead hairs. I'll do my makeup cause I look like I didn't sleep for three years and post the results when I get home. Okay, I can do this. Butter. Fly. Butter. Fly. Butter. 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 Fly. Butter. 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 Fly. Butter. 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 Butter, 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 fly. Butter, fly, butter, fly, butterfly. I was so excited, butter, fly, butterfly. Ah! Okay, so I gotta react to this. This is supposed to be a very cool commercial, so let's watch it. Smart shopping app that saves you so much money, it will blow your mind. Mm, okay. The mind was indeed blown. It's the fifth one this week. The only pattern I could see is that all the victims recently bought something with Karma. Karma? It's a shopping app that always gets you the hottest ah, deals and all your they favorite brands. They remixed it. I like this. This is like a true crime commercial. <laughs> what do you have against shopping, anyway? Could use new shoes, you know. She really does need some new shoes. I haven't shopped for anything since my partner died. Still wearing those damn shoes he bought me. R.I.P. I guess. All I know is he would have loved Karma. Oh my god, she's gonna download it. She's gonna download it, isn't she? Download Karma today. Your mind may be blown, but you will definitely have the hottest shoes in the office. Okay, um, I want to do, I want to do a lot of things. Time to put in my lenses. They are ready. Everyone tells me I look horrible with these lenses, but I do not listen to anyone, okay? Uh, I look weird, but I'm, I'm here for the weirdness. I'm tearing up. My plan is to do something like this, but that's, that's a reach. Okay? I'm gonna start with the basic, uh, basic, the basic liner. You know, doing your eyeliner is kind of like dating a man. I don't know if I'm enjoying it or if it's giving me anxiety. Oh, I am panicking. I don't know if this is good. I would never fall in love. Bam, I did that. I did that. Now I just have to do the same thing on the other eye. There's no panic. I'm not panicking. You're panicking. Update, I finished everything in less than 20 minutes. I don't know how this is possible. So in this picture, they have the freckles. Ooh, those are some crazy freckles. Bringing out this medieval torture device, also called the eyelash curler. Okay, so now what I do is I can't commit to a whole lash, okay? So I cut them in half like this. For the lips, I want them to be a little, like, vampire-y, but I'm not a vampire, okay? I just... You get me. Do you get me? I have officially changed. Okay, I think I am ready and I'm going to use this effect. I'm gonna use the black effect. I'm, I'm getting the vibes. Okay, I am ready. I am ready. Am I ready? I am ready. Let's try out the new Bounce Magic Fit Creamy Bronzer and Highlighter Duo by Beauty Blender. This is developed with the Bronze Adjust technology. It helps adapt with your unique pH, so it's a more buildable glow. So, we open it like this. This bronzer is really creamy, so I'm just gonna go right here. These are the areas where I usually use bronzer. This is also infused with hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. So as we can see, this is very subtle and there is no streaks. It doesn't look muddy, it looks very natural. The original Beauty Blender, of course, helps to blend right into the skin. I'm gonna do the other side as well. So this would be the whole face bronzed. And now let's try the gel cream highlighter. I really like the glow. It is giving the cheek the most natural, beautiful glow. I love this. This is how it looks all together. I love this bronzer and highlighter combo. 
absolutely obsessed with this so i had a crazy idea and that was to turn myself into bubbles my profile picture because why not life is short and sometimes you just gotta be bubbles i guess i put my hair away with this brush because i do not have a hairband okay first i'm gonna do the eyebrows i'm just gonna i'm just gonna i'm I'll, I'll do that, I guess. Easy question. Do Powerpuff Girls even have eyebrows? I have never seen their eyebrows. This one hair is ruining my life, but let's move on. I'm gonna use this weird foundation because I forgot I had it. Looks like I took a break to have a concert. Legit, I do love this foundation. It's so fluffy. You ever took a moment to, like, smell your concealer? Because that that smells weird. Anyway, I did some concealer because Bubbles, she she can't look tired like this. So contoured a little bit. Um, Bubbles doesn't look like a contour queen to me. You know, we need some color. We need some color in my face. Can I transform into Blossom? you guys tore me apart about the purple eyeshadow so i decided to do purple eyeshadow and i'm imagining bubbles with freckles i don't care okay you cannot stop me and here's where everything went south i decided to cut my hair i concluded that bubbles has curtain bangs and i decided to give myself curtain bangs i messed it up i i did mess it up a little bit in the end it, it turned out okay i think it looks cute tell me if you want me to do buttercup as well things as a 25 year old i wish i knew when i was younger no one cares okay I used to be really worried about what people think. I didn't want to do things because I was afraid of other people's opinions. At the time, I actually realized that in the long run, no one really cares. Even if you make a complete idiot out of yourself, in a few months, no one is going to remember that. Just do the things you want to do and don't care about other people's opinions. Not everyone has to like you. You don't like all the people you meet. So why does everyone have to like you? Stop doing things for other people to like you start doing things for yourself because trust me ultimately you're the only one taking care of your own interests you don't need to be in a relationship I just always feel this kind of pressure to be in some kind of a relationship because a lot of people are getting into relationships really young and there is nothing wrong with that that is not for everyone don't feel bad if you're not in a relationship or didn't find that person enjoy yourself and build a good relationship with yourself because that's the one you're gonna have to stay in for the rest of your life if he wanted to he would stop telling yourself differently who cares about you is gonna do anything to be with you stop settling for the bare minimum with people in general not just in relationships never say the words he would never cheat on me I don't think i need to explain that one too much sometimes it's better to play dumb people will show you their true colors a lot quicker if they think you don't know what's going on don't ever accept a drink from a stranger a lot of pictures and videos because one day you're gonna be like why didn't i take a picture at this moment I wish i had this memory don't let the bad things that happen to you consume your mind. A lot of bad things happen to you so you could learn a lesson. Trust your gut feeling. Not fitting in and not thinking is the same as everyone else is not a bad thing. Don't expect too much and you won't be too disappointed. Wear sunscreen. And be selfish. One thing that you always wanted to do what was scared, just do it. Because it may end up changing your whole life. Welcome to part two of me doing my makeup with the most expensive makeup in Sephora. Moving on to bronzer, I will be using Girl On. Girl On. I think this is pretty similar to Benefit Hula. Great, but definitely not life-changing. Okay, for blush, I also went with the Prisma Libre by Givenchy. This packaging is elite, in my opinion. Also, look, you get a little spongy. Okay, let's see what... Ooh, this is a really good blush. Look at this. For the eyeshadow, going with Natasha Denona. Okay, so I like these eyeshadows. They are super blendable. This palette is definitely worth it because you get the highlighter and the blush with it. And the last thing I took is the lipstick. Now, this lipstick is the most expensive because I also took a diamond case for it. Then, when you open the lipstick, you get a little mirror. Okay, so this is the entire face done. And in my opinion, you can do the same for less money. The things that are worth it, in my opinion, is the blush, the eyeshadow palette, and this lipstick. But of course, tell me, what do you think? Is this makeup worth the money? I'm sorry, but this... This is just gonna have to happen to my face right now. It's gonna be a processo. Do not judge me. I had surgery like four days ago. And yes, I did put this on my head. It's cute. Shut up. Don't, shut up. So the surgery that I had was a weeb job. And I'm gonna spill some tea if you were ever thinking about this. I did poke myself in the eye. By the way, I'm gonna do some contouring because the color in my face is kind of like my will to live right now. It just simply doesn't exist. If anyone ever told you that Tata jobs were not painful, I'm sorry to tell you this. They did lie to you. I'm here to report that the pain is absolutely a 10 out of 10. And this is coming from someone who pierced their own nose before, okay? Kylie's also super blushy, so we're, we're gonna do this. This, this looks sus. I'm just telling you do it, but be prepared for some medieval torture pain shite, okay? <laughs> anyway, Kylie's skin always look flawless, and this, this is the best sponge ever. It kind of makes you look airbrushed. I do believe I overblushed it. 
I wanted color, not a rush. I'm gonna skip the eyebrows because I really wanna do the eye thing, okay? I am sorry eyebrows, but just no one cares about you today. Trying to make it happen with this. But this actually, it looks good. I am not going to breathe. I'm not gonna touch it anymore because I think I can do something with this. Now I'm gonna add the yellow. Now the la 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 yellow. Yellow liner, like yeah, liner. Okay, I actually love it. Whenever I use this, I feel like I'm gonna rip my eye out. And this would be it. I don't know, honestly, I love it. I gotta fix my hair and I'm gonna do some transitions, but yeah. These fantasies started two years ago, three years ago, when? Two years ago. It's always the same. It starts the same way. How? Tell me. I prepare for the noble war. I'm calm. I know the secret. I know what's coming and I know no one can stop me, including myself. Do you target people who have been mean to you or unkind? I kill people I like. Can I help you? Some of them beg for their life. I don't feel sad. I don't feel anything. It's a filthy world we live in. It's a filthy goddamn helpless world. And honestly, I feel like I'm helping to take them away from the shit and the piss and the vomit that run in the streets. I'm helping to take them somewhere clean and kind. This is what it looks like. We're supposed to just take it and apply it on your eyebrow. I have been using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Genius for months now. And I'm here to give you guys an update. It is supposed to make your eyebrows healthier and thicker and fuller. These are my eyebrows now. You can see I have nothing on. They are so much fuller. I'm going to link my previous video in the description so you can see my eyebrows before. This is a whole eyebrow transformation. I seriously did not expect this much progress. It's super easy to use as I shown in the previous video. You just put it on your eyebrows. And over time your eyebrows really do get thicker and they do get healthier. I thought there was no saving my eyebrows and look at them. I am super happy with the results. If you want to glam up your eyebrows, I would definitely recommend you try the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Genius. It is an eyebrow miracle. Hey guys and welcome to my girlfriend's basic biatch makeup tutorial. Step one, she's going to be applying some powder to make her look more tan because she hasn't seen sunlight in two weeks. And now she's going to be taking small, uh, above average concealer stick. The thing that she did with her nose is a bit sus, but I believe in her and she knows what she's doing. Now she touches her face with a soft pinky eggy thingy and puts red dots. Okay, uh, more face tapping. This is where the magic happens because this is not the person who I'm dating. I don't know what this is, but she does like martinis. I know she's feeling herself now, I can see it in her eyes. Slay that black wiggle thingy, I guess. Focus is on the maximum because... Her OCD is gonna kick in. This is some medieval torture device to make her thingy look bigger. And voila, this is what she makes me wait an hour for. <laughs> I'm obsessed. <laughs> Welcome to part two of me trying the new Chris collection by Kylie Jenner and getting tipsy. Okay, now we are doing the eyeshadow palette. And oh my God, look what they did. TV. This is what it looks like. We are using this blending proud mama into my eye. Now that's a sentence I'd never thought I'd say. And then one word vodka since we mentioned the queen. Okay that is interesting. Okay I'm a little tipsy I forgot to vote. But yeah I added the black the bl black black. And now let's take this off. For the state I am in this is very solid. I made a decision to add rhinestones. The only thing left are the lips. Okay, am I drunk or is this is this weird? Look at this. Like, look at it. What? It's like dripping up. Okay, I may I may just be hallucinating. I'm probably gonna watch this later and realize I'm stupid. This is really nice. And the lipsticks. It looks like a cigarette. Is it me or is this like cigarettes? I see you. Okay, I'm going with the nude one. Mm, this is so nice. Okay. Okay, I love this. 
This is my finished tipsy look. I definitely think I pulled through with this one. You guys gotta tell me what do you think. Let's talk about body hair. So having hair is pretty normal. We all have it. Even though it's fabulous and I love it, sometimes I just want to remove it. But today we're going to talk about my favorite hair removal device. These are my arms before I started the treatment. And this is the Ulike Sapphire IPL hair removal device. It comes in this gorgeous packaging with a razor, charger, and some protective glasses. Now I will show you how to use it. First of all, you need to shave the area you want to treat. But make sure you wet your skin to protect your hair follicle. IPL is a treatment that makes use of light therapy which uses intense pulse light to kill hair follicles. This doesn't mean that you will never grow hair again after using you like, but the hair will be very soft and thin even if you can't see it. I like to use it at the highest level. Its light head is using sapphire eyes cooling tech which is the same as the one in the salon. This means you will feel no pain and cooling very comfortable. You like just got the FDA certification and is the best seller on Asia market for continuous 6 years. The link is in my bio. Try it for yourself and I promise you won't regret it. Get ready with me using the most expensive makeup I could find in Sephora. We all know that makeup in general is pretty expensive. But I just wanted to see if the most expensive makeup in Sephora is worth it. The first thing we're trying is the Girl On uh, Primer. I'm gonna try to show you how it looks. So it has little gold flakes. I mean, it feels nice, but nothing special. I'm gonna move on to foundation. So this was the most expensive foundation they could find. In the Sephora I was in in Belgrade. The packaging is nice. It's really fancy. Also get this little book. You get the brush and this is the foundation. Now, if I took the wrong shade, that's a pretty expensive mistake. The moment of truth. I think it's gonna be okay for me. It blends really nicely. I think it looks pretty good on the skin. Again, nothing outstanding or something that I haven't seen before. Moving on to concealer, this is La Mer. This is a stick concealer and I would normally never go for something like this. But it was the most expensive one so I was like, okay. So let's see how it looks. Okay, so it does cover a lot. But personally, I just hate this kind of thing. It's okay, but I don't think that you, you need, need it. So for powder, I forgot to buy it, okay? But I'm already using a pretty expensive powder. It's the Givenchy Prisma Libre. But that one is 100% worth it and I do recommend it. I'm gonna finish my face in the second part because this is already too long. If you wanna see the other stuff, go to part two. Let's try out the new Bounce Liquid Whip Longwear Foundation by Beauty Blender. So the Bounce Foundation has new packaging. This is how it looks. So I love this packaging because it allows you to squeeze out every single drop of foundation that's in there. Now let's try it on the skin, of course using the original Beauty Blender. Always get it a little bit wet. Okay, so this is supposed to be an oil-free whipped formula that hugs the skin and improves both tone and the texture of your skin. The formula is infused with hyaluronic acid and also white birch extract. So this is supposed to look natural but still full coverage. And of course the Beauty Blender helps it melt right into your skin and there are also 40 shades of this foundation from what i can see right now it looks really weightless and really natural and the formula is supposed to last in your skin up to 24 hours if you're looking for a natural finish but still full coverage foundation this is the one for you i personally will be using this one a lot i always get questions about my favorite base routine and my routine changes 17 times a year and i'm gonna show you my current favorite routine for my whole face so summer summer can be a little tricky we want to look fresh during summer but also we want to keep the makeup light you know and these are some of my favorite products to achieve the summer look first the milk makeup hydro grip primer travel size because i'm all over the place no matter what time of the year it is we have to prime this will also help your makeup stay on for longer even in the heat and for the foundation i use the sunshine skin tint and i absolutely love this for the summer it's the perfect amount of coverage and you don't look overdone i love it because it looks just like natural skin then the bronzer stick my shade is baked then we have this lip and cheek tint blend everything in and for my lashes i use the rise mascara in the end i always spray everything with the hydro grip set and refresh spray and that is my summer vibes look i hope you like it hey, hear me out this hairstyle i want it today we are going to do a huge hair transformation using the good dye young semi-permanent dyes it is called streaks and strands on tour as you can see there are multiple colors but me i kind of want pink 
An interesting fact is that the co-founder of Good Die Young is Haley Williams. I love her. And Good Die Young is available at Target. Today we're gonna be coloring my blonde wig because I feel like it's really boring. At first I was worried about coloring the wig because I was afraid that it was gonna fade over time. But these colors have sunflower extract to protect the color from fading. Okay, it's gonna be easier if I put the wig on my head. So now we're gonna color the strands pink. Now if your hair isn't already blonde, you need to lighten your hair for the color to be bright. And you can also get the Good Die Young Lightening Kit. When applying the color, your hair should be dry. Okay, so it's the moment of truth. Ah! I think this color is gonna look amazing on this hair. I just love how bright this color is. Oh my god! Okay, now I am done and I'm gonna give it like a half an hour to process. So fast forward to uh, this wig already dried. And this is kind of the color that I got. The hair is super soft, I really like it. Next up is gonna be me installing the wig and you can tell me uh, if I should do it like straight or if I should like curl the whole wig. The hair itself feels really moisturized and conditioned. Let me know what you guys think while I install it. I'm really excited to see what it looks like. Thanking my roommate. I have a talent, I have a talent. go. Okay, should I, should I do it from one to one five? One to 10, one to 10. One to 10, okay. Um, Three. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, four. Bruh. Okay. Four. Um, okay. Let's go. Whatever. I can that's, do this. That's so weird. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, from one to ten. One to ten. Uh, six. Yeah, that's so weird. What the fuck? <laughs> no, are you trying to scam me here? What the fuck? No, no. no. Okay, Close one more time. Up.